now that you've seen what the mod will do uh, after we've created it, let's go ahead and uh, create it. Um, so, let's start with our main function, which every mod has. And we're going to set up some variables here. Um, our first variable is going to be called level. That's going to keep track of what level the player is on. Um, and we need to keep track of that in order to adjust the difficulty for the later levels. Uh, the second variable we're going to set up right away is going to be a list and we're going to call this list monsters and we're going to have a bunch of elements in here total of seven so one more and so there's going to be seven elements and those elements are going to be entity types and now I'm just filling these up here with pigs but I'm going to select these in a specific order uh, cave spider magma cube witch and blaze and now if you've played minecraft a lot you can s kind of see that these are increasing in difficulty in that a zombie is pretty easy to defeat while a blaze and a witch and a magma cube those are harder to defeat and so from bottom to top so bottom being the zombie the first element well I guess it's on the top on the screen but really it's the first element in this list the second element is a spider the third is the creeper fourth cave spider fifth magma cube sixth witch and seventh blaze so the blaze is the hardest and the zombie is the easiest and it kind of goes on a gradient from there and you're gonna see why I did that in a second and so now that we've got our variables out of the way let's create the game arena and so we're gonna have a function that said that is create arena and we're gonna call this function at the start of main because that's gonna start our game and now we're going to use this import statement here and the reason why I'm using this is that I've already written a mod that creates an arena it's in my mini worlds mod and you see, you see that the import block just turned green and it was, it was red before but now it is green and that means it loaded in successfully and what that does is it lets me use functions I've written in other mods in the mod that I'm writing right now and so I've written this function called arena in my mini worlds mod and that's down on my page here that's right here and it's just um, a function that takes one parameter and it just does three commands and those are world edit commands and let's move back up the page yeah, there we go. And so let's see what this does in game. We've created our variables and we've called create arena, which calls our arena function. And we actually need to give it a parameter of width 20. And the width is actually the radius. Uh, I should change it to radius, but it is width right now, but it's actually the radius of the arena and so I'm gonna get connected and then I'll see you in game alright I've established my connection and let's run the mod as you can see uh, whoa I just went right through it okay as you can see it created an arena and I'm in the center of it and it is 20 block that way and 20 blocks that way so the diameter of the circle is 40 and the radius is 20 so we're going to use those numbers coming up right now 